Hey everybody, how you doing? Uh, I'm gonna maybe try to make this a regular thing. This is an unlisted video. If you're watching this, it's because you clicked a link for the jam related to this particular setup. And uh, I'm just gonna talk through uh, just kind of the, the backstage of what's going on here um, because uh, that stuff's interesting and we like that, right? Uh, for this jam, actually, everything is gonna be completely unsynced, um, running without a mixer other than the roll and go. That's the interface, but... Um, so it's got two line inputs, so we've got two separate chains being recorded here direct to video. Uh, one of them, again, everything is unsynced. We've got the uh, PO12 rhythm. This is basically going to be doing just hi-hats uh, with a little bit of kick and snare, just a bit. Um, that's running into the monotron delay. I'm probably not touching the ribbon, but we'll see. Uh, it's hard to keep my hands off that sometimes. Uh, so that's just getting a delay sound, and then that's feeding audio only. No sync signal. Audio only is going into the PO133. And then, so that mixed signal now uh, goes into the roll and go. And then the other chain is going to be, make sure I've got this right. <laughs> okay, the Volca sample. Um, at that output's going into the PO24, um, which is doing its PO24 thing. Uh, so then the audio from both of those goes into the NTS-1. Uh, we'll be doing reverbs and delays and uh, an arpeggio on there. Can't keep my hands off that. Um, so this chain then goes into the roll and go. So we've got two stereo line inputs uh, and that's going to be recording directly to this camera here after I connect the USB and my headphones here. Um, so everything's completely unsynced. Um, the main tempo is going to be 68 BPM, but if you multiply that by three halves, that's going to give you 102, uh, which is the tempo, oh, I need to, yeah, anyway, this guy's going to run at 102, so I'm getting triplets on the hi-hats. Um, everything else is running at 68 beats per minute. Uh, the chord sequence, uh, you know, I've got st structure, uh, that I'm improvising on top of, uh, pretty typical for me. Um, when I started with the Vulcan sample here, I'm using the bar filters. Um, you know, it would be easier if I just showed you. Um, got several patterns here, but they're they're following a chord sequence. But I've used the pageant firmware. Okay, so um, the the bar filters let you say every, you know, you have one pattern here, but for each loop, you can have any given sound. Uh, you can have it play on the first, second, third, or fourth bar. Uh, also, a lot of probability in there. So I can leave it on one pattern, but I've got four bars of variety. Of course, you don't get as many sounds. You only got ten uh actually nine, <laughs> nine voices on this because these two choke each other, which is a useful feature. Um, so yeah, we got bar filters and probability, uh, triplets going on here. Uh, the chord sequences in here. Um, I, I did something fun. This is a cool trick with the Volca sample. Um, I made, I, I just took one, I started by taking one sound Okay, I've already tweaked it a bit there, but went through the notes of a scale. I decided this whole thing was going to be in D major slash B minor um, and used the uh, pitch adjustment to, uh, rather than trying to sequence within a pattern, it's a real pain in the ass on this thing, uh, just make each voice a note in the scale here, uh, decided on a chord sequence. Um, this is the cliche chord sequence, uh, so we got one, five, six, four, uh, figured out which notes went in which chords and used the bar filters so that on these patterns, uh, one through four, it's going through a different sequence variations of a four bar, uh, four chord sequence there. And then for pattern five, I don't remember how far I went down here. I've been doing this thing on and off for a bit. Uh, as far as the setup goes, um, 
So the main part is going to be these four chords, and then we have sort of a bridge, so to speak, just a different part for variety, and that's going to be based on E minor. Um, so the four chords, we've got variations of that on the pocket operator here. The E minor stuff is down here, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, like I said, I've been working on this. These sounds, especially these these two bits, the Volca sample and the the pocket operator sampler for uh, off and on for about a week and then uh, threw everything together for the first time last night and now we're wiring it up in a nice way and uh, yeah, I thought it'd be fun to start talking about this stuff. Maybe I will list this video after I post the jam. So if you like this kind of thing, let me know. I'm trying to do more with the channel. Uh, the logistics of my life are a little nuts right now. Uh, I'm in a transition phase, so... Uh, silver linings, I'm probably going to be able to do some more music stuff. So uh, that's what's happening here. If you're interested, oh my god, I'm going to say it. Please like, subscribe, <laughs> comment, and uh, hope you enjoyed the jam and or the backside here. And uh, I'll see you around. Thanks.